All right, everybody, I'm here. Thanks for joining me. Let's get my little description stuff going. Tonight, I got a fun new twist to show you that I um, ran across the other day on, oh, I gotta go down here, on um, Pinterest. I found it, I gotta find my little tiny clip down here. Uh, I had my thumbnail clip all ready to go. And now I've lost it. I'm going to go with this one down here. Oh, yeah, that was it. Um, and so I think I really like it. It. Um, I was showing the girls over the weekend. It's got a... Um, crafters kind of um it's a quilters block um my friend kathy said that she's seen these crocheted so i wanted to show you guys this fun temperature quilt block card and people make them into quilts and they go um and you go and find the temperature for every single day my friend jerry has one she went every single day for the whole year and then you pick strips of paper or material or yarn as Kathy's seen um, and every single day has a, um, a shade and so I'll show you I got like a and I just knocked it all on the floor I've got a um, I'm going to call it my thermometer that I made of all my colors and I went um the gal that I saw that made this had hers in 10 degree increments. I remade one for me in five degree increments just so I would get a little bit more variation in my quilt block. So here's the first one that I made. Let me just show you. And this was following her um, chirpy card maker of quilts or chirpy quilt maker of cards. Julie Heights is her name. Um, she put a little thing out on her Facebook to make this card. And this was a 10 day weather. So I found the weather for um, the end of January for 10 days. And then this green on the sides was the day 10. So all of this here was days one through nine. And so I, of course, took that. I thought I would show you guys. And I took it up a notch and I did two other designs and I will show you. Let me get myself going down. So I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, I'm Jill Blanchett with Green Thumb Stampers. It is the last week. I'm gonna give it a week because I believe it ne is next Wednesday is, a, is the 28th. It, you've got till the 28th to um, earn all your celebration freebies that you want. And um, participate in that or the join special for $99, you get $175 worth of products. That will end on the 28th. Um, and I think that that's it. I will, um, the 26th is the last day to RSVP to me for the plane in the rain stamps bundle or suite, or that you just wanna come to make projects because I'm going to need to get that ordered um, before celebration ends so that I can get the freebies done. Uh, and that's it. That's all, I believe all I got to share with you guys for that. It is, it might have stopped, but it's been raining all day and freezing. Some places are without power. So if I miraculously like drop off or suddenly not miraculously, but if I drop off, it could be because um, we lost power because it's really, really, really um, starting to freeze on my trees and all kinds of stuff. So we've got that going on. Let's see. I'm going to. Uh, da, 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 da. 
I'm, I got on late because I was trying to do some personal stuff. Hey, Don, thanks for joining. I was trying to do some personal stuff that I keep putting off and putting off and putting off. And Christy's on, mom's on, hi guys. And um, I just had to try and log in and take a peek today and it didn't go so well. So I'm late because of that. I've been doing other stuff. So let me put my computer over here. See if I can get that out of the way a little bit. And you know what? I think I'm gonna run out of tape. No, nope, I brought another one. So uh, let me turn my camera down. All right, now we're down and um, here's my hostess code for February. And I did forget to mention, but I um, wanted just to know that Stampin' Up! has added some stamp sets to the clearance rack. So if you wanna go take a peek at the clearance rack and just make sure that um, they're obviously retired stamp sets. And so just take a peek and make sure that it, they don't have one there that you missed out on that you really want. Oh, mom's getting snow. Yes, Dawn, I noticed the tree, the branches are hanging. Um, I have lost just a few little, I'm gonna call them like twigs on my deck from the tree at the corner of my deck, but my neighbor's got a whole bunch of um, pine trees and I'm gonna call them soft pines. They're um, real uh, wispy kind of needles and stuff. And they tend to seem to not do so well when the snow is heavy. So I'm watching them and they are dangling pretty low. So it'll be interesting out there tomorrow to see um, where all um, trees have been, branches has, have come down from. So, all right, I'm gonna get to my cards. So I showed you the first one. Here's another one that I made. This is the one we're gonna to make tonight. And this particular card, I changed up her quilt block design. So the first card she called this, I believe she called it a nine patch because there was nine little squares here. And then she added a 10th color along the sides. I saw another card on her site because she's a quilt block. Uh, a quilter. So she's got a lot of different quilt block cards that people post on there. And I liked this layout. So this is the, um, this was a 12 day layout. And I went back, I went from the 9th to the 20th. Actually, I went from the 20th back to the 9th. And so this is the one that we'll make. But I also went Oh, I'll show you that one when I'm done. Let's get started with this. Oh, no, I'll show you now, just in case you drop off before then. So I went with this one also. Reed and Mike think that this looks like lizard, um, but it's the hammered metal embossing folder. But this one I started with the 15th day of the month from February back to March of 2022. So these colors represent the 15th day of every month from February to March. And so that's just kind of all you have to do and how it works. You just find yourself uh, the colors on your, temp on your thermometer that you um, like, find I found them all out there online and like I said I just I wanted mine to be stamping up colors so I went and um, asked my friend Jerry who had also made a quilt and showed her my thermometer and she helped me to um, kind of rearrange them a little bit so that they kind of made more sense in what she thought the, the temperatures would represent so I was struggling with that. Do I want to go from, you know, dark to light to it's just whatever I could ramble on and on. So what I've got is a granny apple green, five and a half by eight and a half. 
That's going to be our main base. I cut a coastal cabana base at an eighth lower. So we've got five and three eighths by four and one eighth. And I will glue that on. There's my tape. This one's gonna run out in just a hot second here. Hey, Christy. Christy sent us a photo earlier of the view out her window to the lake. And yeah, that was pretty ugly too. Looking out my window, it doesn't look bad until you focus in on the glistening ice that's on everything. I think my road might still be a little bit um, just soupy. Hasn't quite uh, frozen all the way yet. All right. Oh, white pines. I'll bet that that's what they are, Dawn. You're right. Okay. Now I've got my piece of parakeet party paper. I'll say that three times real fast. That I've cut to five and a quarter by four. Let me make sure. And you guys know when you emboss a piece of paper, you might always emboss it a little or cut it a little bit larger than what you need and then trim it down to the size that you need after you emboss because depending on your pattern, your paper will possibly change size. And so I'm thinking, um, for instance, the corrugated folder that we used to have that's kind of rippled like the um, inside of a cardboard box, that will shrink, but it'll only shrink like in one direction. So it might go skinnier this way be to make up for all the ripples, but it won't go skinnier this way. So it's a good thing to cut your um, papers down to the size you need them after Oh, and I don't want to put this on yet. So I'm going to hold off on this in case I decide to put my ribbon under it. All right, so now I've got a whisper white or basic white square that's two and a half inches. And I want to find the center. And I know that my... Uh, center will be my one at my half is at one and a quarter. So this is going to be a little trickier because my other ruler was one and a quarter inches wide. So when I set it down, <laughs> it was in this right spot already. So let's see here. You guys all know my struggles are real when it comes to this kind of stuff. So we're gonna go right here and see if that, does that look like that's, or you can just go use your pencil really lightly, go from corner to corner, cause I'm gonna do that anyway. And I just wanted to make sure that I went through my dot that I made at the center. I'm just gonna draw a real light line across just to help me get my um, block strips in the right spot because if you're off you're going to throw off the whole thing I'm going to say all right so now I've got my little quadrants for my strips and I'm going to do this has 12 strips that's why I did 12 days and the 12 months I also thought this would be cute to um do like somebody's birthday to do like 12 years of the weather on their day, birthday. thought that would be kind of cute for somebody, you know, who knows, they're not going to know the significance maybe, but it's a conversation piece for you. So what we did or what I did was then because this triangle here is a um, one and three quarters inch from here to here kind of thing. Let me measure that just to make sure I'm 
saying the right thing. Yeah, so it's one and three quarters inches. So then I needed three pieces of paper and I went, and I'm gonna show you, I kind of cheated. So I took my trimmer and I made two strips at one little ticker mark past half. And so that's like nine sixteenths or something like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, nine sixteenths. So I'm just gonna tell you one little ticker mark at past half, or just go ahead and make it at half. But what I did was I cut my strips to that nine sixteenths. And then I'm just gonna dangle them off there and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue on my whole piece here. Let me get this random piece of paper. Oh, look, here's the temperature um, thermometer that the gal made for her um, Facebook page, like the, for her followers to make their temperature quote, but I printed it and then decided to make my own. Cause you know, that's unfortunately how I roll. All right, I'm going to glue in my whole quadrant there. Move that glue around. And I have my temperatures written down. And if you go to, I believe it's called Weather Underground wunderground.com, you can look up the weather for any day. My friend Jerry told me that. So that's where I went. And so I'm starting, you know what, let's start this one on the ninth and go the other direction. So let me flip my pile of papers over and see. So I got the ninth. No, I better not because I got all my papers already cut the right width. And if I'm at the corner, because I got to show you my little trick. So I'm not going to do that. Let's flip them all back over. I cut all my, all right. So I got my nine sixteenths inch piece cut. I got my glue down. And I'm just going to lay this down in that spot. My next day, again, was Coastal Cabana. The hardest part about this, after you figure out all your temperatures, is finding designer series paper that contains the colors that you need. So you can, if you don't have them, you can just use, this is Coastal Cabana color. So you can just use um, Coastal Cabana um, regular cardstock and stamp on it or um, emboss it or do whatever you want to do to make it, I'll say, decorative. And then I have this little piece because my third day is also a Coastal Cabana day. So those temperatures were 44, 44, and 43. And then we're going to cut that off just to keep them out of the out of the way. Go ahead and cut them down. And put those out of the way. Then we're going to repeat for the next three days. Put our glue down. And I have a Tahitian Tide day because it was 27. I'll put that right. I tried to use this earlier on the other card, I think, and it has a little bit of blue on it. 
put that down. I'm going to kind of butt that right up there against it. You want to try and make sure it's all in line. That's why you want to put your um, pencil mark on there really lightly so that it doesn't um, show through. This one, you can kind of see my, I used an ink pen and it kind of showed through. My next day was a pool party and I have, um, that's 39 degrees on my thermometer. Put that right up there. And then my next day I have parakeet party. So when I came to this little corner, because it might be a smidge past the um, same width of these because it didn't divide out evenly on my little calculator. I just kind of used a random piece and put it sideways so that it um, filled in the whole space and then you can cut it off and it's not that much bigger that it's gonna really show. And now let's turn it to the next three months or three days. I'm looking at the wrong temperatures. And we've got granny apple green. A couple of these colors was really quite hard to find in my uh, designer series papers, like pumpkin pie. That one was really hard to find something with pumpkin pie. I uh, found a really old pack of paper, I believe I ended up with for that one. Um, otherwise, if you have the uh, color family papers, that works perfectly because they're all gonna be in there. And then we have, oh, this day was 56. We have 47 for Bermuda Bay. Stick that one down. Oh, Reedy's on, hi Reed. Oh, and that's a good idea too, Dawn. I did mine backwards. I found my center, then I drew the line from corner to corner. Um, and then our last day here again was 53. So it was parakeet again. So we're going to, I'm gonna whack this off. And we'll stick that down in the corner. Glue that up in there. I'm gonna trim those off. And then our last block, a uh, little quarter here. Put some glue down. Oops, I just got glue off the side there. We have a Bermuda Bay Day, which I'm going to go ahead with the plaid on this one. And I'm going to go from off the paper to make sure I got a little too much glue right there. I'm going to try and pull that glue back off there. So I got my Bermuda Bay. Then we had a 38 degree day for some pool party. And then we had another parakeet day at 53. So if it weren't for this day over here, what'd this day end up to be? This day was 43. So had this day been a little bit warmer, all of our little corners would have been parakeet. So I'm gonna trim those off. Got 
Hello, Governor. All right, so as we let that dry, I'll go back and goober remover that in a minute. So then I put this piece down on, uh, um, so this is two and a half. So my Bermuda Bay here, or my Coastal Cabana piece is two and five eighths. Just a, a couple of tickers past half. I'll glue that one on. And the fingers are all sticky. Let's see if I can get that off. And then we'll glue that onto a two and three quarters inch piece of basic white. Oh, there it went. I might have finally run out of um, my refills for my mono adhesive. But I have another one that I, another style, this one that I kind of like. So I've been, I have a bunch of refills for that. So I'll be switching over to that one till I decide if I've got more of that one or not. All right, so then I'm gonna take my little goober getter and go across my seams here just because I was a little heavy handed with some of the glue and we want to make sure we get that off so nothing sticks to it because in this household you just don't know how hairy your card may arrive at the recipient if it sits around for a little bit with sticky glue on it. Okay that feels pretty good you can feel it if it's got stick them on it or not. And I think we're good. Peel off my. All right, so now I think we come back to our card and I think I'm going to put that down. No, I'm not gonna, I'm going to put it on, put on a bow. So we're gonna, Wrap that around and just cut it off for now. See if I can tie this without it actually like causing me grief and sticking to everything. I want to be able to move it around if I need to. All right, that works for me. I'm gonna try and move it just a smidge over to the left. We're gonna put this on crook or up and down. So I wanna put my bow a little bit lower and then we're good. Move that down a smidgey. Got our bow over to the left. Perfect. So now I'm gonna glue it down. You guys, I got a head on my Finally Friday videos a little bit. And when I edited it, I noticed I'm, you know, have to bear with them if you guys are Finally Friday watchers because I, I got a little bit lower on the screen than I like to do. And you can still see what I'm doing. It's just a little bit lower than where I want it. 
thought I was looking in my uh, camera because I like to be able to, I have one of my screens show me my desktop that so that I can see it and um, know that what I'm showing you, you guys can see. And when I'm making my videos on my phone, it's up in my holder and I can't really see the screen too well. And obviously when you see the video, you'll see that it's a little bit low, but it still works. Like I said, you can still see what I'm doing. It's just not a complete. All right, so we want to put our coastal cabanas up at the top because this is where my first day started. I'm going to push pull it right there. We could put the ribbon up higher. I just didn't want to cover up the pretty colors. Then I have All right. I lost my I made one of these. And I know I brought it over here. I was adamant to quadruple check to make sure that I had everything I needed for this card over here. And I was extra proud of myself because it was last night that I brought it over here. But I guess the best laid plans, what's that little, the best laid plans? Something or another. So yes, it's gone. We'll, make, we'll, we'll improvise, we'll make something else up. For our little sentiment. So I, for my sentiment, I'm going to have a visit from the Easter Bunny. And anybody that wants this, the Bunny Punch is on low, uh, sold out, but coming back. But it won't be back till after Easter. But you can get the um, set and then get the punch when it comes back in stock if you need it to make some Easter cards. All right, so we got that on there. I'm gonna put some of these. You guys, are you gonna believe this? I use the Just Jade. I've got these old um, enamel dots and I use the Just Jade color. And it goes so nicely with everything. It kind of comes out like a coastal cabana Bermuda Bay mix. And I think that it does a really good job of Blending in, I should get my little picker tool out. And then I just put some of these randomly around here. I should put my sentiment on first. Oh no, I'll have room. Let's put one more. Okay. All right. And then our little sentiment, we will just Stamp now on some paper we got over here. Kind of bumming because I was really proud of myself, you guys. I must have knocked it on the floor, but I don't see it on the floor either. Maybe the cat came and got it. So I've got Granny Apple Green ink. And my Easter Bunny, we're going to say, you're a friend like no other. We'll use the same words that we used on the other one. And a black. Looks like it's time to get a new green. Can you guys see the look of this pad? It's getting, um, I don't wanna call it leathery, but the, the pad itself is starting to take on a new like look and I'm not picking up a lot of ink with it. So it's 
probably time that this one be replaced. That's a good sign. And I'm gonna get my punch hanger. All right. I've got some oldies but goodies. These were around before the cool new double oval punch. So I've got the, a, this is the medium oval. We had three sizes. There's one tinier than this one. And then I've got a um, the large scallop. those on some things it's good not to get rid of you know spent money it's nice to have all the new stuff but it's also nice to save money when you can reuse stuff that you've already got so i'm gonna glue that on like that i think i'm gonna pop that up I'm going to put a piece of dimensional on the top and I'll put another piece on the bottom and I will do my best to straddle the ribbon. And then that way the ribbon doesn't get stuck down, it still flows kind of freely. And then you can put something on the inside. Happy birthday wishes or something like that. I'm, how about, I only brought this one. I'm not gonna put anything on the inside because I only brought the Easter bunny, your friend like no other. Oh, I guess I'll put enjoy the little moments on the inside. That'll work. That'll work nicely. Okay, we got our, get some ink on that. Put that on my next order. And you can see the various, um, you can see the various shades of the ink as well. I have inked it recently and it's not soaking in correctly. That's another indication that I need a new pad because even though I've rubbed the um, ink all around in the pad, it is not spreading and filling up the ink pad. So another sign when you re-ink them and it doesn't distribute well through the Pad, something's not quite right. So there we go. There's our 12 days of weather card and our 12 months of the 15th day of the month weather card. So you can get all kinds of cool variations and ideas that you want. I thought it would also be kind of neat to put um, strips just across the paper or like this way as well, just on the, the card itself. And it would give you more room to um, decorate around it kind of thing. You wouldn't have to have this kind of quilt block looking design, but that's what I did. Uh, pool party parties in the parking lot, so many parties. Here, I can't read what you're saying, Rudy. I'm gonna go back to me here. My mouse went to sleep, so let's remove the spotlight this way. And we should be back to moi. So that's it, guys. I appreciate you watching. Thank you. Please stay safe, stay warm. Patty, if you're gonna get out in this and drive to work tomorrow, please be careful. Um, 
everybody cross your fingers you don't lose power mom and christy get the snow shovels out i'm going to be on my way as soon as the uh, roads are good enough to head that direction so oh saturday saturday is christmas card i'll be filming from the peanut butter cupboard if everything aligns correctly so stay tuned i've got a kind of a really cool card that i found um Oh, I don't want to give anything away. Just think of this beautiful ice in the trees look. Um, we had it the other day as well, and that inspired me. And it's happening again today with the ice in the trees. So think of that, the glistening in the ice when you imagine what my card's going to look like on Saturday night. So I hope to join you right back here on Saturday at 7 p.m. from the peanut butter cover. And I will see you then. Bye, everybody. Have a great night. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment. Help me grow. Growing like the weed.